Okay, Aaron, this has literally just arrived. The first one off the pallet. Just time to look at the nanocortex. <laughs> So the day is finally here. The Neural DSP Nano Cortex. Increasing the family size of the Quad Cortex. Or a Cortex range, I think we should call it now. But this has been heavily teased by Neural DSP for the past couple of days. And has eventually arrived. We're going to take a very, very first look at it here. So let's start with a little bit of an unboxing, shall we? Comes in this tiny, tiny box. And actually, you know what? Before I even take it out, that's it compared to your classic quad cortex right there. So while I'm unboxing it, I guess I'll give you the sort of cliff notes on exactly what this is. It's obviously, it's a much smaller version of the quad cortex. Has a lot of the same sounds, but as I'll get into a little bit later in the video, as we're actually like testing it out, it does have some slightly different functionality. And there it is. Look at that guy. That's tiny. I actually didn't think it was going to be this small. See the full family there. Look at that. It's actually, you know what? It's the same size as the screen. There you go. If anybody's got re if it's got a quad cortex and you want the reference, then there we go. Streaming board. Just plant a nano cortex right on the top. So it comes with Neural DSP sticker, it comes with some instructions there. Not seeing immediately a power supply, which a Neural DSP pick as well there. I think it might come with a USB-C cable as well, just in here. Yeah, just a USB-C. So it doesn't come with a power supply, so that's one thing to bear in mind. It's a classic 9 volt to a 12 volt DC with a 600 milliamp, so obviously prepare yourself before you pick one of these up. So let's get this thing plugged in, shall we? That's the main sort of talking point. We've got a couple of outputs here. We can go stereo, which I'm gonna go today. There's a couple of different features in it as well that I'm gonna to touch on as well. But let's just, it's all important to hear these sounds. I'll get this thing plugged up, plugged in. No, let's get some stuff out of there, shall we? Okay, so we're all hooked up now. I've got this going stereo just into our interface. It's just got the stereo outputs on the top here. Here is the sound right out of the box of the Nano Cortex. Well, there's that quad cortex amp sound there immediately. That's just giving you that proper kind of response that you would expect off of the neural DSP quad cortex if you have been using that at all or if you've got any experience with the plugins as well. One thing actually, let's test the touch on this thing just before we get into more sounds. So here is it, full dynamics. And then if I roll volume down a bit. Great touch on that. So we're going to look at just the front of the unit itself. You know, it's obviously the big difference is that this has got knobs on it as opposed to the touchscreen that you're getting on the quad cortex. It's not as in depth, obviously, just on the surface level, just to obviously keep space just that little bit smaller. Maybe not so obvious for some people, but we have our gain, which... <laughs> That sounds awesome. And obviously you've got your, I need to stop saying obviously with that. <laughs> this is a brand new product, nobody knows about it. The bass, the middle and the treble controls just right at the bottom there as well. Bit spiky there but that gives you lots of options just to make quick EQ adjustments. 
We have the level and then we have the amount here, but I'll get into the amount just a little bit later when I get into some of the effects functionality with this, because I guess one important thing is this isn't the same sort of UI and sort of, you know, workflow, I guess you would maybe call it as the Quad Cortex if you've had any sort of, you know, any experience with that or any experience with some of the other Neural DSP products as well, because what this has got, Essentially, you have preset banks on them. Obviously, you can make some adjustments. So we're on bank number one right now, or I guess sound number one. What this has got is it's got two separate sounds actually preset into it. And then what you can do is you can then control them with the bank option there. And you can see some of them set. Now, this is all controlled with an app as well that unfortunately, because this is pre-release, don't have access to, but we are going to do a follow-up video showing you some of those functions. So here is our second sound that's built into our first pedometer slash knob here. So you can obviously kind of like get those pretty quick. Like that is one of the things off of the, certainly with the quad cortex of you or any sort of model, or if you're changing like completely different sounds, you know, not within the one patch, it, there could be, you know, a slight lag between them, but that's like pretty instant to be fair and actually. Yeah, the trails are going between. You can probably still hear them as I'm talking there as well. Now, on the other side of it, you've then got another couple of options for different sounds as well, so let's see what they are. And then the second option on there as well, again, very quick to go to it. Very good for metal, obviously, the Neural DSP stuff was always kind of considered, or is always considered one of the kind of good sort of modelers for amplifiers. For amplifiers, for metal amplifiers, to get that proper sort of nice sort of chunk out of that. Now, if we're still going to be talking about the banks here, you notice there are a couple of switches. So if I'm hitting just this bank button here, you'll notice that it is changing the LED. Now, this is much more obvious within the app as well, because it will show you what your banks are. But to change between them all, you simply, much like the quad cortex, just use the pedometer here. So here's a couple of the sounds that you're getting in bank one. Now, they'll all be the same amps that you get in the Quad Cortex, and again, they will all be named via the app. Unfortunately, I just can't show you right now, but stick around because we will have a follow-up video. The other side of it here, what this pedometer controls is the IRs, which is quite an important thing with the Quad Cortex and any modeler as well. allowing you for much more tone shaping. Now, where the difference with the Nano Cortex comes compared to the Quad, it's kind of what I was sort of talking about at the start. It has a set signal chain. So what we're getting is a noise gate into a transpose feature, into your amp, into your IR, into a modulation, into a delay, then into a reverb. Now you can kind of see that chain a little bit on our effects control here. Now let me just make sure I'm on a clean. What you can do, so let's take it right back to the start. This is where this amount knob comes into play because if we're on number one there, that's your noise gate. 
Now, this is the coolest feature, certainly for myself. I really love this about the neural DSP stuff. So you'll see here that that's not doing anything just right away. Press and hold that. That now lights up. This is your transpose feature. Let's try it on, a, on an actual crunch, shall we? Let's make sure that that's on. Let's tune that down a bit. Actually, here's bass level E standard. That's not a, that's not a clean a, a distortion at all. There we go. Hey, I'm learning as well, folks. You're getting the information just as soon as I've got it in my hands. try that on a bit more of a metal tone when we get to it as well but that's a great feature which obviously you can set for any sort of you know patch that you've got you maybe need something that's a bit more detuned or if you just want to be your own personal Tom Morello <laughs> you can do that to <laughs> change back to a clean so that's a really good actually one to show off as well because that's got quite a big trail to it it's got a lot of delay going on as well so when we're flashing on our first one, this is our modulation feature. Yep. It's kind of brought in, it's brought in a chorus there, which sounds awesome. Our next one's going to be our delay. Right. Now that's one thing, again, while those crazy trails are going off there, that's our reverb control, actually. Let's turn that off. There we go. That's one thing that the app really comes in handy for. Now, I can't actually control the amount of delay, the time of that delay, or the tone of that delay. You're going to have to get into the app for that. So if you do want to have that set control right off the bat, it's not the easiest to obviously change. But you can bring it in and out as you see fit and then obviously you can change it out within the app as well now once obviously you've set something up you can save that just directly off the unit you don't need to be using the app and even if like let's try let's try that much more metally sort of sound so let's check the gate fill <laughs> So that's just got a pretty good gate going on there. Let's then, much like a lot of modern metal as well, tune that down. Now that's one of the things that I really like about the transpose feature as well, is that I can play full chords. And it's not gonna do that kind of freak out thing, like definitely, depends how kind of fancy I guess you get with your chords, which. I was holding up pretty well there. Yeah, it tracks pretty well. Yeah, it's it's one of the cool features certainly about it. And then if you don't obviously want it on, you can press and hold that and it will go off. Now there is MIDI and an expression in at the top here. So if you do want to bring, you know, like either use that as like a volume, or there will be a way that you can set it to any of the other parameters on it. So even if it's volume, EQ, gain, you've got control over that. And then one of my favorite features as well is it does have a 3.5 headphone jack in here. So where I can see this coming in handy is like, say somebody does need it as a fly rig, then that gives you perfect practice. You know, you can get the perfect practice set up as well with this by just setting this up, set headphones in, that's you good to go. And then of course it does have USB-C, so you can plug it into your computer, use Cortex control with it and, you know, bring in other people's patches and whatnot. Now, I can't see the integration with a patch and the quad cortex being the same as that, as I said, for that limited signal chain. But if you do just want the sort of, you know, if you find that maybe just that a little bit intimidating, then this is probably a good start for you. And it does come in as considerably cheaper as well. Another function as well, just I'll touch on it very, very quickly and maybe get a couple of extra tones out of it, is actually the capture feature is built into this, which I, I think this makes it the smallest and the sort of easiest accessible unit that will do capturing. That's all done just with the input on the side there. 
you can do it with pedals, you can do it with amps. So if you end up like taking your nano cortex to your friends and you've got a dumbbell just sitting there, then you can get that sound if you need to. But so right out of the box, that's what you're getting with the nano cortex, where I can see this fitting into a few players' lives. Now, first and foremost, if you are a neural DSP fan, if you're a huge fan of them and you do want something that's just that little bit smaller but integrates all the same sounds, you're gonna be right into this. It'll fit on pedal boards, it'll fit in your guitar bag. It's even just going to sit really nicely by your computer along probably with your quad cortex as well. The other side of things, you know, people who need a smaller fly rig, then this is absolutely perfect. Super small, you can practice it with your headphones. You can plug other pedals into the front of it as well, so we do have some key pedals that you do need to use. This can be just your amp if you want to, and you've obviously got a couple of different sounds built into it. The other side of things where I can see people getting a lot of sort of, a lot of use out of this, or it could be particularly a good jumping off point for people who are maybe not familiar with like Neural DSP, with modelers as a whole, if it's maybe a little bit intimidating. This uh, does come in at a cheaper price point than the Quad Cortex. So, you know, your sort of admission to entry, I guess, is just that little bit smaller. And if you do like that, you can move on to the bigger one. But in all honesty, it's one of those things where like, I feel there can be two camps of guitarists where one, you've got infinite options with say the Quad Cortex. I don't know if you can see it from that camera as well, but it's definitely still at the back there. If you want infinite options and infinite sort of possibilities for tone, perfect. Super, super powerful. You know, the quad refers to the amount of like, you know, chips and processors that are in there. <laughs> don't quote me on that noodle. But the Nano is a much more streamlined, it sort of like lets you just like focus more on your playing rather than getting too sort of swamped up in the minutia of tone shaping, you know. That's fun, I love doing that. A lot of guitarists love doing that as well. But sometimes it is fun just to, you know, boot it up, find a patch that's already built in and then just focus on your playing, you know, or stuff that you've already got kind of built into it that's more suited to your style as well. You know, that big reverb patch that I have been playing kind of through the whole thing is, is that's a sound that I would use in one of them. So the fact that that's already there, you know, is such a cool inclusion and just lets, you know, makes me focus on playing more. Some of the other features I do want to show you. So much like I've said, we are going to do a follow up to this when we have access to the amp and to the app. And we'll probably do a couple of captures as well, because I quite like the, the notion of using such a small device like this to get some really, really cool tones. So this has just been a first look, a first impressions, a bit of an unboxing and a play of the Nano Cortex by Neural DSP. Really excited to see where this goes in the future. I'm really excited to get my hands on it a little bit more. And I'm sure you're very excited to hear the news that there's more hardware in that family. But let me know what you think about the Nano Cortex. Is this something you're really excited to see? What would you use it for? Let us know down in the comments. And while you're there, give us a like and a subscribe because it does go to help the channel grow and helps me use some new stuff in the studio as well, which is always really fun. But until next time, I've been Kieran and this has been a look at the Neural DSP Nano Cortex. Have a great day. Uh, <clears> Thank <throat> you.